Hello Value Investors, thank you for joining me. Today I want to talk about Atlassian. So Atlassian is a company that um, I've kind of come around and seen in a different way. So I'm very excited to talk to you about that one. Um, so my name is Michael from Deep Value Returns on Seeking Alpha. And uh, Atlassian is a company, it's a workflow management company, and it's on its way to 100 billion market cap. And just want to talk about how I've changed my mind and how I look at this company. And I want to talk about its all, all its customers transitioning to the to its cloud. And then we're going to talk about, you know, the thing that still kind of bugs me a little bit about this company, which is its valuation at 35 times forward sales. You know, is there much upside left? Um, so anyway, let's take, let's get right into this. So as I noted already, this is a company I've been quite bearish on for some time, and I've been saying, okay, the stock is too expensive. The stock is too expensive. And every time I open my mouth, say the stock is too expensive. Guess what? You know it, the stock keeps going higher. So I'm happy to say, I'm throwing the towel, I've made a mistake here. Um, yeah, so this is the thing, right? The company had been growing at approximately mid 20s. However, in the latter parts of fiscal 21 for them, you know, the last two months, the last two quarters, particularly, you can see a, a jump here. You can see that more and more customers are transitioning to the cloud from off-premise and their model, their freemium model is really resonating with customers. And you can see that in the for this Q4 reported a few weeks back that the number of customers transitioning to the cloud is up 70% year over year. So very strong runway. I would counter this slightly that yes, the cloud business is doing really, really well. And it's doing that by cannibalizing its legacy business. You can retort and say, okay, yeah, that's right, but so is everyone else. Fair enough. And you've got plenty of players in this, plenty of companies in this, in this space from Splunk to, I mean, to loads of different companies that are just doing the same, like going and transitioning from their legacy business to their cloud business. But in the case of Atlassian, man, like they keep on growing, growing, growing. So 70% of their total revenues are now coming from the subscription business model. And that's a very sticky business model. It's a very high margin business model. And the thing that really attracts me um, about it is that this is a company that really is, you know, a leader in this space. And you can see here the Gartner report, it's like up and to the right, exactly what you want to see. And it's doing much better than some of these other cohorts. And, um, you know, even if you compare with the likes of like ServiceNow or uh, GitHub, uh, I mean, it's like, it's doing really, really well here. Um, and it's been recognized for search as well. And part of that is kind of being translated into its valuation, but we'll touch on this valuation in a second. Um, the other thing that I want to talk about is that what Atlassian is doing quite well is that it's giving customers enough of the capacity to really move wherever they want to be. So if customers want to have residency in the US or in the EU, they're allowing them to do that. Before that was kind of a restriction because of compliance, they had to be, you know, where the cloud had to be operated wherever they were. So there were all kinds of issues. And now it's much more smoother. And what Atlassian is succeeding quite well at doing is just breaking down those silos that the enterprises are having to, when they kind of connect to different computers, different softwares, just breaking that all up. So it's, it, you know, it's, it's doing a really great job. Um, the one thing that I want to say about is that I know this company is amazing, right? And I know that the company is really, really kind of punching above its weight and it's on its way to 100 billion market cap. Um, and historically, it was actually more expensive. I actually felt that it's come down slightly, its valuation. So yeah, it is priced at 35 times forward sales. Um, this is kind of similar to MongoDB. Uh, you know, obviously the the smaller up and coming peer, Monday.com, that's priced at 50 times forward sales. So in comparison with that, Atlassian is much more established. It's incredibly free cash flow generative and it's priced cheaper than let's say Monday.com. So, you know, that's the counter argument there as well. And um, I mean, the closest competitor really is GitHub, but GitHub is kind of part of Microsoft. So it's kind of difficult to give a really good valuation to where that's going right now. Another peer that's slightly bigger is ServiceNow. Now here's the thing, ServiceNow is priced 21 times forward sales, so it's significantly cheaper than uh, Atlassian. On the other hand, you have to remember that they, um, the ServiceNow has this target to reach 15 billion in revenues by 2025, but their target, their long-term target is for 30% free cash flow margins. 
If you think about Atlassian and the year that they just had just now, Atlassian's free cash flow margin right now is 38%. They have talked about, you know, that going into 2022, um, they're gonna decelerate, they're gonna, uh, sorry, let me rephrase. Their free cash flow margin is gonna compress slightly, but it just shows you the power of that business. Even though it's not being maximized for free cash flow, the free cash flow at 38%, it's like poof. I mean, it's just like, it's a money-making machine. So yeah, the market is not entirely wrong here. Um, I mean, I can't make the mass work for me, uh, but obviously many people I know follow this company, many people are really passionate bulls of Atlassian. So you can take that on board. Um, if you wanna find out what stocks I'm interested in, don't forget to check out my marketplace to know what I'm buying right now. It's called Deep Value Returns. You're welcome to do a totally free trial to see if it suits you. I'm not gonna replace you, I'm just gonna be a place to kind of give you one or two ideas and you kind of pick and choose if that investment makes sense for you and if you wanna roll with it, I have a hybrid portfolio. This is, I have some value stocks and some growth stocks to really help you navigate through any kind of environment where, where the market is kind of in value rotation or not, or what's in favor at that particular time. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, we have a growing investment community of value investors I'm in the chat room. Come in, drop a few lines, say hello.